Westminster is an expert place when it comes to teaching people of all backgrounds how to become excellent scientists. We focus on excellence and we focus on capability and we focus also on empowerment of individuals. This is something that speaks a lot to me as an individual who came from a different country and I, I see a lot of students that come through the University of Westminster and excel from any walk of life, any country in the world. I got my first degree in molecular biology at the University of Portsmouth, followed by a PhD in pharmaceutics at University College London. After that, I worked as a postdoc at UCL and then at Imperial College National Heart and Lung Institute, where I developed an international reputation as an RNA expert. I was then recruited by Pfizer UK to lead the UK research in therapeutics and diagnostics in RNA molecules and other genetic areas. I have been employed at the University of Westminster as a reader in industrial biotechnology and biochemistry and I'm leading Westminster Genomic Services. I am involved a lot in the biomedical sciences courses and degrees and I train a lot of new biomedical scientists to enter clinical research but also research in biotechnology companies. I also work on commercialization since I do such activities at the university and I lead the uh, MSc and undergraduate modules in those fields. My current research focus is on applied genomics and genetics and transcriptomics. So we are working with colleagues across the world to deliver new gene therapies for hepatitis C virus, the proof of mechanism and the design of these drugs. We are working with colleagues in the area of brain microbiomics. We are working uh, with some colleagues in cancer uh, genotyping to understand how the different types of cancers progress. The research I do has now recently entered uh, the fight against Ebola, so we're using all the knowledge we have on how to take assays from the bench and put them into the clinic to come up with a new way, efficient way and a fast way to serve this big problem with our global community. We started working on this quite a while ago. Um, the Ebola research at Westminster is not led by myself. It's led by a very good colleague of mine, Ed Wright. However, I have a lot of expertise in the applied transformation of bench assays into something we can use in the clinic. So Ed and I came together in July 2014 and decided to do something about it. Put together a team with Public Health England, with the United States Army, with a UK biotech based in the west of Cambridge and looked into what we could bring together from our collective expertise to answer the biggest problem in Ebola and that is how do we diagnose patients from suspected patients quickly, efficiently and economically enough for this to be something viable for West Africa.